royally embarrassed. Thomas Markle Sr. is being accused of working with the paparazzi to stage a series of photos and then sell them for thousands of dollars. From getting measured for his wedding suit and exercising before the big day to reading articles about the royal couple inside an internet cafe, Meghan's father is causing deep embarrassment now for the palace. And now Meghan Markle's half-sister, Samantha Grant, is taking responsibility. I have to say I am entirely the culprit. There's a lot of scrutiny that it was money motivated. It was not. It was my suggestion. Chris Spargo in New York and our royal expert Victoria Arbiter in our London newsrooms now have this story covered. So Chris, we'll start with you. How exactly was Thomas Markle Sr. caught? Well, Jesse was all on surveillance video. He was seen arriving at an internet cafe with a photographer in tow, and the two could then be seen in the video, which was obtained by mail on Sunday, looking for the best and most optimal booth with a computer in it. He then sat down and pivoted out so they could take the perfect photos of him looking at Harry and Meghan on the internet. Then from there, they went to get measured for a suit, but the tailor was closed, so the surveillance video shows him entering a party shop where he took out a tape measure he had with him and then had the photographer snap a few more photos. Now, these photos could have netted him up to $130,000, we're hearing, according to some people. But as we just heard, Samantha said her father did this just for the royal family. Yet at the same time, the royal family's been issuing letters asking that people do not take photos of Thomas Markle, saying that he's being hounded by the paparazzi. Okay, Victoria, we're going to turn to you now. Obviously, bad publicity for the palace. Less than a week now to the wedding of the year. How does the palace play defense on this? Really, what the palace does, Jesse, is never complain, never explain. It's the Queen Mother's old mantra, because all that does is it will further fuel the story. But there's no question, this is deeply embarrassing, especially because the palace did say just a few weeks ago, leave him alone. And yet here we find out that he's the one that's been uh, culpable in, in making sure all of this goes ahead. I think he's probably been taken uh, advantage of just a little bit, but he still took part. And in doing so, he broke the trust of his future son-in-law before even meeting him, and he's broken his daughter's heart. Hard lesson indeed. Okay, Chris Bargo and Victoria Arbiter, thank you.